And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, Oh, Lord God, you know. By the way, let me just give you a little aside here. If you're going to preach on this to the church, notice that those old dead bones were in a large open valley. Dead Valley Baptist Church. Open to anything as long as it's dead. Do anything but speak. Don't, don't let the gifts operate. Open anything as long as it's dead. Don't get me started. I might preach on that a while. Let's bring it back to the prophetic. This is talking about the rebirth of Israel. Oh, Lord God, you know. And the Lord said to him, preach to those bones. Because the prophetic word can make dead bones live. And the reason the Jews are back in their land is because a prophetic word came out of a prophet named Ezekiel, whose name means the righteousness of God. It came out of his mouth thousands of years earlier and said, those bones shall live. And he preached to them and they became uh, an army. Here's what has, is beginning to happen. The rabbi spoke it a moment ago and I didn't, he didn't know what I was preaching on. He said, prophesy to the Holy Ghost. If you hadn't got anybody else to preach to, preach to go to the graveyard and then preach to the bones and preach to the Holy Ghost. <laughs> prophesy to the wind, Ruach, the same hurricane that howled in Genesis 1, the same scream that came on the day of Pentecost. Howl. And he said, when I did, they came alive. And in night, May 15, 1948, a nation was born in a day. David Ben-Gurion declared it a nation.